Hello, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is Dan from the Fundamentals with the seventh guest, the board game from Trilobite Games. This is the adaptation of the seventh guest, the video game. Now, uh, some of you will probably go, oh my god, the seventh guest. Um, but many of you are probably like me, and you see this, and you were sort of... Wait, what? Um, the Seventh Guest is a old video game. It came out in the 90s. It was one of the first ones, the first one possibly, to have extensive FMV cutscenes. You know, the goofy, over-the-top video, inside the video game, point-and-click kind of thing, puzzles and whatnot. And this is the company that made that, Trilobite. And it's been a few years, they've had some sequels, and they finally kick-started the board game version of The Seventh Guest. And they were uh, happy enough to send me, nice enough to send me a copy to review for the fundamentals um, and unbox on video. So, let's get it open. As far as I can tell, this is set up sort of like the game where it's set up to be a um, creepy house you go to. You climb your way up. There's the basic rules. They put a lot of work. You know, are so first the back of the box. They put a lot of work into the atmosphere to capture. You can kind of see there's kind of that goofy 90s aesthetic to it. You can see the board there. So let's see. Here is the board. You can see it kind of has the Creepy, kind of like clue kind of look to it. Let's see. Oh, we have our play pieces. If you play as different characters in this, if I remember correctly. We have a fancy lady with a little scarf. Oh dear. Winston Churchill, a either fat or pregnant one with nice jewelry, a man in a turban Come on. with a mustache. That Oh, he's coming. Doo, 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 doo. Um. Oh no! Man with a broken stick. I imagine his stick is not meant to be broken. And finally, a lady in a hat. Those are the tokens. Then we have our cards. There are quite a few cards in this game because it's trying to mimic the sort of infinite possibilities of the game. See, that's a lot of cards. There is, however, this special decoder. As you can see, I don't want to show up on camera, but... So, you see this guy, it's kind of like that magic eye thing. You can't see, can't see, but then the power of this thing, you can read it. And a lot of the cards have that. On the other side, oh, we have Jack Nicholson with a quiz. Neat. So basically, this whole game is solving puzzles. They're telling you where to go. Oh dear. I don't know what that does. Good lord. God, God, God. He, he, he. Let's do anything with that. Nope. There's a flower, though. A mystery spell and characters Batman, Huckleberry Finn, Nemo, and Sherlock Holmes something in common. What is it? Hmm. Fake their own deaths? That's it. Depends if that's Finding Nemo. Let's open this up. Let us open this pack up just to see the cards out of the pack. There we go. So 
They're very good cards. They're very large. I don't know if you can see. They're big cards. Very big. Um, they're not plain sized. They're more like tarot sized. How do you kill a werewolf? Which color connects to the three pictures? Which is mixing poison? So it's it's all these kinds of um just brain brain teasers and brain puzzles and stuff to kind of uh, mess with you and make things difficult. But let's see. I think the answers are out the back. So characters have something in common. What is it? Let's use our magic. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh. They faked their own deaths. Each character faked his death to get away from the bad guys. This scientific name for faking death is pseudocide. You can see, take that away. You can kind of see it in the blue there, but this thing. Yeah, all right. But, I mean, that's the chunk of the game. Um, go through, make your way through, solve puzzles, and eventually make your way to the tippy tippy top of the mansion. Playing as, oh, we missed one, a woman with her hands out. So that is the seventh guest. I'll have a full review of this um, as soon as possible. Um, it's a very neat game. Um, recently came out on Kickstarter. Um, has, isn't out yet for retail, but keep an eye out. Um, be on sale. We'll keep updated on how things going. Uh, until then, happy gaming. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. I have a couple things I have to say before you leave in spooky ghost audio form. First of all, I want to apologize. There is one thing I left out of the unboxing, and that is the large dice that goes with it. I'll put a picture up here for you to see uh, there. And uh, that is a really nice dice. Very Die very well made. Um, really fits the game. Very hefty. Easy to roll. Um, sometimes it doesn't land perfectly, but that's for my review. And the other thing is that uh, when I recorded this, the Kickstarter had ended. Um... And the game is out for purchase now, but also uh, the our, the Trilobite is currently doing a Kickstarter for the Stealth Mysteries, an expansion to the board game that has all kinds of new challenges and puzzles and all kinds of things to the base game. So make sure you check that out, and I can certifiably say, happy gaming. Yeah.